Okay, you have some skill. What's going on everybody, Sloth here, hope you're having an awesome day, and welcome to my guide of Mule Yedinak. What you can expect from this guide, I'm going to first go over Blackbeard's optimum loadout, then I'm going to take a look at Blackbeard's gadget, the rifle shield, and then following that I'm going to take a look at what you're going to want to typically do when playing as Blackbeard in a typical round. Now, jumping right into it, Blackbeard is a two armour, two speed attacking operator, hailing from the American Special Forces, the Navy SEALs. Now, although I mentioned he has two armor and two speed, when Blackbeard has his rifle shield actually up, his speed will feel more in line with that of a three armor operator, purely because he tends to slow down a lot when that rifle shield is actually up and deployed. Let's take a look at Blackbeard's primary weapons. Now, he has the choice between the MK-17 CQB and the SR-25 Marksman Rifle. Now, between these two rifles, they are very different. One of them is a fully automatic rifle, whereas the other one is a marksman rifle, so it's a lot better from long range, high damage, but semi-automatic. So firstly, taking a look at the MK-17 CQB, the damage on that is 42 per shot. It has a fire rate of 585 and a capacity of 20 in the magazine, which is quite low. These bullets will go quite quickly if you are not paying attention to your ammo consumption when using it. Taking a look at the SR-25 Marksman Rifles stats, it has a damage of 72 per shot, which is quite high. It has a fire rate of how fast you can necessarily pull the trigger, as it is a semi-automatic weapon, and only has a capacity exactly the same as the MK-17 of 20 in the magazine. But you'll find because this is a semi-automatic weapon, then bullets don't go anywhere near as quick as the MK-17. In terms of which weapon I would recommend out of these two, it is kind of up to you. Both of these guns are viable. Me personally, myself, I tend to play with the MK-17 CQB because it is a lot better in close quarters situations compared to the SR-25. And I prefer to play more of an aggressive up close style of play when you play with the sr25 you do have to be a bit more patient and you do have to try and keep your engagements to a, a longer range but both of these weapons are viable but i would recommend the mk17 because i think it's just a bit more viable from a few different ranges and in a lot more situations for secondary weapon you have access to the the D50, the D which is essentially the Desert Eagle. Now, this thing hits like a truck, but in turn kicks like a mule. Um, so, it's kind of as reliable as you can expect it to be. But it is a pretty solid pistol, and I find that it does the job, but it is just kind of hard to handle on the recoil front. Now, in terms of secondary gadgets, Blackbeard has the choice between the breaching charges and the stun grenades. Now here, this is a bit of a toss-up. It all depends. If you're playing on your own, I would recommend going with the breaching charges because you can never rely on your teammates. <laughs> Especially in some of the lower ranks, you cannot rely on your teammates to... Um, to breach things for you, so I'd recommend taking the breach charges. But if you are playing with a team and you know other people in your team are rolling with breach charges, use the stun grenades because they're going to come in very handy, especially if you peek in a window and you know someone's in a corner and they're hiding and you want to actually breach. And if you throw that stun grenade, because Blackbeard's quite snow, once you've stunned them, you're going to be able to breach into the room and kind of essentially it's almost like a free kill. Pick up the kill very easily. So I do believe stun grenades do come in very handy when playing as Blackbeard, but it just is a toss up between how many breaching charges you have on your team, and how many stun grenades you have on your team. So that one, again, will come down to you in between rounds. So just to summarise Blackbeard's optimum loadout, I'm going to recommend using the MK-17. I'm going to recommend using that with an ACOG sight, because you are primarily going to be trying to keep your distance with Blackbeard and peeking through windows, and you want to have as clear line of sight as you can get, and the attachment that gives you the best chance to do that is the ACOG sight. And also I'm going to recommend going with the flash hider as that is going to allow your weapons to have a slightly tighter spread in terms of recoil when you are burst firing the weapon. And because you're going to want to try and slow down how quickly you are going through that small magazine size of 20, burst firing is a good way to do that. Also the recoil on the MK17 is kind of hard to handle. So burst firing is just going to give you that little bit more chance of picking a sweet, sweet headshot when using it. Obviously you're going to be running with the D. Desert Eagle as your secondary weapon and then again it is a toss up between the breaching charge and the stun grenade depending on what your team has the most of. Now let's take a look at how to use Blackbeard's gadget effectively, the rifle shield. 
Now, what the rifle shield does, it covers the head and the tops of the shoulders of Blackbeard when aiming down the sights of his primary weapon. Now, Blackbeard's rifle shield only has 60 HP and therefore means it is not indestructible and will be destroyed when hit by two to three bullets, depending on the range that they are fired from. The closer to the shield, the less bullets it takes to be destroyed. Vice versa, the further away from the shield, the more bullets it takes to be destroyed. But Blackbeard does have access to two shields. So if one of your shields does get destroyed, you can simply switch to the other full health shield by just pressing the gadget button you have allocated on your controller. Now, I also do recommend switching to your other full health shield if you are use if your primary shield does get injured even a little bit but not fully destroyed because there's no point going into an engagement half-heartedly you want to be going into every engagement possibly at 100 percent health and that means using a full health rifle shield now you should also note that when blackbeard's rifle shield is equipped and you are aiming down sights you are only covered from the side that you are looking directly at so if you are not looking directly at an enemy and they have low a sight on the side of you they're still going to be able to hit your head because you are not covered from 365 degrees so you must try and make sure that when you are engaging enemies you are facing them face side on front side on so therefore you are covering yourself as effectively as possible you should also note that once you have equipped your rifle shield you can toggle it on and off but once you have equipped it your movement speed is going to dramatically decrease because i think the rifle shield is very heavy and it's going to slow your moving down a lot so because of this blackbeard isn't fantastic at speeding around the map trying to get the peak's advantage on opponents but instead he's the king of head glitches blackbeard is absolutely fantastic and the best operator in the game at head glitching what this means is if you're able to get behind cover that covers everything aside your head so from your feet to your shoulders you are covered and then your head is just exposed if you're able to get blackbeard in these positions which is very easy to do on rainbow six siege blackbeard's going to be at a great advantage because it's going to mean that if he gets into an engagement with an enemy it's going to take one headshot for blackbeard to kill them but it's going to take four headshots for the opponent to kill you because the first three bullets are going to be absorbed by your shield then it's going to break and the last one's finally going to unfortunately get you in the head and kill you but you can see the massive advantage that blackbeard has because rainbow six siege is such a you know a twitch shoot a heavy game and it does only take one bullet to kill this gives blackbeard a huge advantage if you can kill your opponent in one bullet and it takes them four bullets to kill you so it means that head glitches is the best way to play blackbeard you always want to be looking out for head glitches you always want to be thinking where can i position myself here where only my head is exposed that is the first thought you want to get into your head when you are picking up and playing blackbeard and that's going to help you a lot wherever possible try and get into cover where just your head is exposed Exposed, that's going to give you the best advantage now a great example of this are the windows leading into many objective rooms if you can repel outside a window crouch down just so your head is exposed basically you're essentially covered and the only thing that is exposed is your head and that's going to give you a massive advantage if you see an enemy you're able to take them out uh, a lot quicker than they're going to be able to get you when playing as blackbeard you should always try and get a line of sight on the objective room whilst using a head glitch this will mean that you will have a three shot advantage on any defenders in the objective room say for instance then you're head glitching on the objective room window you've broke the window you've picked up a kill the next thing you have to do is essentially hold your nerve and wait you need to be very patient when playing as blackbeard what i mean by being patient is and holding your nerve you're going to have to wait for enemies once they know where you are to try and challenge you on that window because you're always going to have an advantage and you should feel confident going into these gunfights so you're going to wait for an enemy to challenge you or you're going to wait for an enemy to essentially walk into your line of sight because in the objective room people move around quite frantically and also you'll get roamers as the round goes later on coming back from their roaming rushing to get into the objective room they might not be paying attention to certain windows and it's going to be a really easy way to pick up kills as playing as blackbeard and that's basically the best way to play him in my opinion make sure you've got a line of sight head glitch on the objective room that way you can pick people off wait for people to challenge you wait for people to walk into your line of sight and wait for roamers to come back in and you're going to be able to pick up a lot of kills and put a lot of pressure on the defending team so to sum up a typical round for blackbeard i'd recommend spawning in 
running towards the objective room, making a quick dash towards it without deploying your shield, you're a lot quicker that way. Then repel up to maybe one of the objective room windows, equip your shield before you peek the window, make sure you do that, otherwise your head's gonna get taken clean off. Then once you have broken that window and you have a line of sight on it, see if you can see any enemies in there. Obviously try and pick them off if you can, but if not straight away, make sure you are patiently waiting at the window just to see if anyone does try and move from out of cover because a lot of people might be in the objective room but they might want to get out of it and because you're there so quick you're going to catch a lot of people with their pants down who find they're stuck in a corner and their only choice is to challenge you and being blackbeard the king of head glitches you should win that engagement nine times out of ten from there hold that position or move to another head glitch the most important thing is making sure that you have line of sight on the objective room for as long as possible because people are going to get impatient they're going to try and move they're going to try and challenge and you're always going to be an advantage don't rush don't rush in there unless you're sure of where people are because the second that you go in there you lose that advantage that the rifle shield gives you and you're going to get taken out from multiple angles so the key is to be patient when playing as blackbeard i cannot stress that enough and making sure that you're using the rifle shield to the best of its ability now that's pretty much it i've covered everything i wanted to in this guide hopefully this has helped you new blackbeard players out and all i can really say is thank you for watching the video and have a great day